Hey, 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 my Love Island fans. It is Romance Review TV with Lady T back on the channel. And today we're diving into all of the juicy details of Love Island USA Season 5, Episode number 14. But I want to give a shout out to all of you guys who have been coming over here, whether you're new subscribers, returning viewers, or just passing through. I appreciate all of you. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, Hit that subscribe button and join the family. Also, don't forget to drop a thumbs up if you enjoy any part of this content. And of course, let's hop into the comment section after this video so we can chat about everything that went down in this crazy episode, okay? Without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this recap. So, episode number 14 picks up right where we left off last night. The recoupling is about to happen, and the bombshells, Kenzo, Jonah, Emily, are about to make their picks first. And I mean, we can talk about Emily's pick. She goes for Harrison, which actually surprised me because I thought she might go for Marco or Keenan. And did you guys catch how Marco was all smiles thinking he was going to get picked? And then he had a little bit of deflated look when he was sitting down with his match Cassie when it wasn't him and did y'all hear Keenan telling Leo about how much he wanted to get picked yeah man it looked like the thirst is real and speaking of picks Kenzo chooses Carmen which look like makes Anna a little bit salty but let's be real Anna's been causing some drama lately Jonah picks Destiny and that made Marco a little relieved since he thought that he might be the one pick but poor Hannah yeah she looked a little bit upset i guess she wanted jonah to pick her now let's talk about the dynamics between the couple sure kk and keenan marco and hannah seem solid but you can tell that they're craving the thrill of being chased by someone new that's probably why they got a little bum when they weren't picked but i mean come on it's love island somebody gotta make a move so now that leaves anna and bergie now anna decides to leave the show because she's not feeling any of the guys that's left and honestly the dramatics from the others are over the top i mean she's leaving on her own so i guess there's no reason to cry about it anyway the recoupling continues and then we of course saw our other picks as regards to Bergie, because he was saved when Anna left, he gets to stick around. But I don't know how much longer he's probably going to be here, but I know we have a couple of bombshells coming in soon. So now we have three new matches. Kenzo picked Carmen. We saw Emily picking Harrison. And of course, Jonah picking Destiny. And let's see what they think about being picked. I was very excited you picked me. You? I was trying not to smile too much because I was like, this is going to be so embarrassing if I smile the whole time he gives a speech and he doesn't pick me. Like, I really felt a huge connection with you in like mm -hmm. only two days, so I'm like really excited to see where And now where you just get goes. to spend every day with me until you get I sick know. of me. I'm never going to get sick of you. <laughs> I'm excited to finally not sleep alone. Yeah, well, that'll be nice. That's lonely over there yeah. in that cold room. Mm-hmm. I know. You'll be a little bit warmer now, I think. Okay. I'm, I give I give solid cuddles. I know that. Oh, thank God. I was gonna ask. Well, that was yeah. That'd be the next thing. Like you, you're a uh, cuddle. Oh, straight definitely. Up. You're a cuddle Big spoon, person. little spoon. Amazing. <laughs> really? <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie. Where you threw me off was, and this is actually kind of sweet. I was like, what? When you said when you used the adjectives to me, I was, I didn't I didn't know who you was talking about. I'm like, huh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was just honestly, I was ecstatic that you weren't talking about me. So now with Harrison being with Emily, I was wondering how Destiny was going to take it, whether or not she was concerned about her connection with Harrison, but she actually states exactly how she feels when she have this conversation with Hannah. Let me talk to you. Uh-uh. You want to? No. uh I get that. Everything's good. Right. Yeah, maybe wait a little. Uh, yeah. Um, I think you're warm. Oh, uh, yeah, per usual for me. Right, it's cool. going to be a hot ass mess. 
Wow, Destiny was so excited by her match of Harrison, but I guess that excitement has officially fizzled out because like she said, it's going to be a hot ass mess. So now later on, they play a game called Mr. and Mrs. Lava, which is hilariously chaotic. Now people are slipping and sliding all over the place. I mean, we got to talk about the failed attempts by not only Harrison, Jonah, and especially Bergie. However, if you want to see the sexy version that I did an edit on on all of them because there was some very, very hot kisses in this particular challenge, go over to my Instagram. I posted it last night. So now back at the villa, Kenzo and Carmen are getting cozy and they're talking about baby names and everything. But you know, I just can't help to be a little cautious about Carmen. I mean, she might switch up her feelings at any moment. So then Keenan and KK have a heart to heart and yeah for him it's a little bit too good to be true how well they're doing and it's clear that Keenan is still very curious about other connections. Sometimes I feel like you're like looking for something. Yes like, I am. I'm not gonna lie. You're just waiting for me to fuck up. I, or... I am. You know why? Because this shit is too good. It is too natural. You are gorgeous, you are stunning, you are understanding. Our conversations flow. This shit is fucking terrifying. I really am falling for you. And my guy, don't mess this up. I mean, KK, on the other hand, she is head over heels and she wants exclusivity. Now, I know it's only been two weeks. We even have not went into Casa Amor yet, if there's going to even be one this season. Hopefully it is. However, I'm wondering if she kind of should let him do a test to give him some more time to explore. Now, they keep saying that they're open to other options, but at the same time, they don't want to be open to letting their partner kind of explore so it's going to be interesting to see how these two work out so overall the episode was packed with drama a little bit of romance and it looked like some new players are coming in to shake things up on thursday so we got to see how it all unfold in the next episode all right, folks, that's it for this fun and detailed Love Island USA Season 5, Episode number 14 recap. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up, share with your friends, and join the comment section party. And until next time, peace out.